In this tutorial, you will learn how to instantly model a throated worm and wheel combo in Blender. We have developed an online calculator which takes the dimensions of the worm drive as the input, and computes the worm generating Python script as the output. The worm is then used to model the wheel. This calculator can be found at www.otvinta.com slash instantworm.html. The input parameters for this calculator are as follows. Consider a circle with the diameter d, shown in blue. Also, consider an arc of this circle, defined by the angle beta, shown in red, and a vertical axis of rotation located at the distance r from the leftmost point of the circle. A shape formed by the rotation of the arc around the axis conceptually represents the throated worm, and the circle represents the wheel in our worm drive. In the calculator, instead of entering the wheel diameter, we instead enter the desired number of teeth and the module. The diameter is simply the number of teeth times the module. We will be designing a throated wheel drive with the following parameters. There will be 40 teeth on the wheel. The beta is 72 degrees. The R is 5. And module is 1. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 5 on the numeric keypad to switch to the orthographic view, then 1 to switch to the front view. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Open a new window. Select Text Editor as the window type. Press New. Go to the Instant Worm Calculator at www.otvinta.com slash instantworm.html. Enter 40 for the number of teeth, 72 for the arc angle, and 5 for the worm waist radius. Check the Blender 2.8 checkbox, and make sure the falloff rate checkbox is off. Press Calculate Script. Copy and paste the generated script to Blender's text window. Press Run Script. Note that in addition to the mesh of the worm, the script also created an empty to the right of the worm. The empty is positioned at the center of the mating wheel we are about to model. Select the empty. Press Shift S, and select Cursor to selected. Select the worm. We will be using it to model a single tooth of the wheel. We need to rotate it in such a way that the recess at the top lies right on the x-axis, as follows. We also need to rotate a copy of it to make the recess at the bottom lie on the x-axis, as follows. The center recess is three teeth away from the top and bottom recesses. Since the angle between two adjacent teeth is 9 degrees in our case, we need to rotate the worm by 27 degrees. Press Shift D to duplicate, then R to rotate, then Y, then 27, then Enter. Select the original worm and rotate it in the opposite direction by pressing R, then Y, then negative 27, then Enter. A mouth-like shape, formed by the two rotated worms, is going to become our wheel's tooth. Select both worms. Press Ctrl-J to join them together. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Press Alt-A to deselect everything. Switch to the face select mode. Press C for the circle select mode and select these faces carefully. Press Escape to exit the circle select mode. Press Ctrl-I to invert the selection. Press X and delete faces. Switch back to the vertex select mode and carefully delete all extra vertices that do not belong to the two surfaces of our mouth-like shape.
Press 3 for the right view. Select the four center vertices, as follows. Press Ctrl plus multiple times to expand the selection to about here. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection. Press X to delete the selected faces. Select these two rows of vertices. From the Edge menu, select Bridge Edge Loops to create the tip of the tooth. Select these and press F to create the sides of the tooth. For smooth operation, the tooth needs to be scaled down by about 1%. Press A to select everything. Press S for scale, 0.99, then enter. Our tooth is finished and ready to be duplicated. Create a second tooth and rotate it around the Y-axis by 9 degrees by pressing Shift D, R, Y, 9, then enter. Select the bottom of the top tooth, and top of the bottom tooth. From the Edge menu, select Bridge Edge Loops to connect the two teeth. Select everything. Duplicate and rotate by 9 degrees by pressing Shift D, R, Y, 9, then enter. Press Shift R to repeat the operation until the entire wheel is complete. Select everything. Right click and select Merge Vertices by Distance. Now let's turn it into a manifold object. Select the two outer rings of vertices. Press E to extrude, S to scale, Shift Y, 0 0.9, then enter. From the Edge menu, select Bridge Edge Loops. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Our wheel is ready. Go back to the online calculator. This time, check the box fall off rate. Press Calculate Script again. Copy and paste the generated script to Blender's text window again, and press Run Script. This time, the height of the worm's tooth tapers off towards the top and bottom of the worm. Let's turn this worm into a manifold object. Select the very top and very bottom vertices. Press 7 to switch to the top view. Press Shift-C to put the 3D cursor to the origin. From the left, select the Spin tool. Grab the right end of the blue arc and give it a spin. Open the spin window at the bottom left. The number of steps must match the vertices per loop parameter in the calculator. Enter 256 for steps, and 360 for angle. Select everything. Right-click and select Merge Vertices by Distance. Select these two loops of vertices. Deselect these five vertices to enable the Bridge Edge Loops tool to be used. From the Edge menu, select Bridge Edge Loops. Press Ctrl R for loop cuts, and create three loop cuts, as follows. Press double G to shift each of the three loop cuts up or down to better align them with the rows of vertices on the right. By pressing F, create four faces to close the gap between the left and right sides. All 
also create a face over this little triangle. Select the top row of vertices and extrude it upwards by 5 by pressing E, Z, 5, then enter. Close the opening by pressing E to extrude, then enter, then press Alt-M to merge, and select its center. Repeat the same procedure at the bottom of the worm. Press tab to exit the edit mode. Give the wheel a name, such as, wheel. Now, let's test our worm and wheel for compatibility using Blender's rigid body physics engine. Add a cylinder and move it up. Call it axis 1. Add an empty and move it up. Call it hinge. Add an empty. Rotate it by 90 degrees around the y-axis. Move it down. Call it motor. Select the automatically created empty at the center of the wheel. Press Shift S and select Cursor to selected. Add a cylinder. Call it Axis 2. Open the Physics tab on the right. Press Rigid Body. Select Passive for Type. Select the wheel. Press Rigid Body. Select Mesh for Shape, and under Sensitivity, 0 for Margin. Select the Wheel Empty. Press Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select Wheel for the first object, and Axis 2 for the second object. Select Axis 1. Press Rigid Body. Select Passive for Type. Select the Worm. Press Rigid Body. Select Mesh for Type and 0 for Margin. Select Hinge 1. Press Rigid Body Constraint. Select Hinge for Type. Select Worm for the first object, and Axis 1 for the second object. Select Motor. Press Rigid Body Constraint. Select Motor for Type, and check the Angular box. Select the Worm for the first object, and Axis 1 for the second object. Press Space, or use the Play button, to start the simulation. As you can see, the simulation is not going smoothly. This is apparently because the normals on the Worm are inverted. Select the Worm and press Tab to enter the Edit Mode. Select everything and press Shift-N. Press Tab to exit the Edit Mode. Press space again. Everything is working perfectly now. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.